It was the preseason edition of the freeway face-off, and sparks were flying early. Connor Smith tried to set the tone early, but the ref shut him down, and it wouldn't be the last time he was denied either. Poor guy wanted to fight all night long and wasn't allowed to. So the refs didn't let them drop the gloves, but somehow both players still got penalties. So we ended up playing four on four, soon to be four on three as Strom took an idiotic penalty and really it became a four on two as Warren broke his stick. The Kings take advantage and we get scored on by a Newell Brown power play. Ouch. Two other players were allowed to fight though. Hetherington made himself noticeable for the first and only time since signing his PTO with a good scrap and takedown. That fight seemed to energize the Ducks a bit, who drew a penalty and scored their own power play goal. Suck it, Brown. Colangelo does well to win the puck battle and gets rewarded. His pass gets blocked, but he shoots the second attempt that bakes off Riddick's head and in. The Ducks had another power play opportunity in the second, but Fertrano gets caught puck watching, which leads to the Kings 2-on-1 and they scored shorthanded. The Kings added another goal early in the third, but the Ducks did rally a bit towards the end. Fertrano managed to redirect a puck off his skate with five minutes left. Despite a few more chances to tie it, they fell short 3-2. to two. Now, I know, my great commentary makes this seem like the greatest game ever, but holy moly was this game boring. Between the snooze fest of the broadcast from the Kings and the game itself, it was hard to stay awake. It also doesn't help that I'm sick. This was probably the Ducks' weakest preseason lineup yet. Outside of Vitrano, Strom, Fabry, Zellweger, and Dostal, it was mostly fourth liners and bottom pairing defensemen. The lineup seriously lacked any true playmakers, and it showed. Not even alternate captain Ross Johnston could save them. On the other side, the Kings had a lineup closer to their normal roster, but not by much. Their normal top line was intact though, and they accounted for all eight Kings points on the night. A lot of people didn't look good in this game, but the Ducks' best players on the night were Stan Colangelo and Lucas Dostal. Colangelo did great work in the corners and on the forecheck, while Dostal stopped 30 of 33 shots. Dossi didn't look quite as sharp as he did in his last game, but none of the goals were his fault. Zelly had some flashes toward the end, but he was mostly neutralized throughout the game because the forwards just couldn't maintain puck possession. Fabry also looked good in moments too. One thing I'll say though, the line of Vitrano, Strom, and Fabry doesn't work. You need to move Strom down and bring up Leeson or Lunderstrom from the fourth line to balance it out. We'll see how the lineup shakes up for round two of Ducks vs. Kings preseason tomorrow, Monday at 7 p.m. at Honda Center. There are three preseason games left. If you'd like a chance to go to one of them, join our giveaway. First off, a big thank you to two of our subscribers for donating the first pair of tickets. Unfortunately, there is no safe way to give away tickets directly on YouTube, so instead, I'll be giving away the two pairs of tickets for the Utah vs. Ducks game on October 2nd on Instagram and Twitter, one pair on each. You can join both, one, or none, it's up to you, but you can only win one of them. These giveaways will be live by the time you're watching this video, and I've linked each post in the pinned comment down below. Please note that all standard giveaway rules for each platform apply and the rules for the giveaways are available on their respective sites. The winners of the giveaway will be announced on the platform they entered on as well in the next video on October 1st. Again, a huge thank you to two of our subscribers for providing the tickets. Thank you to our members. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and go Ducks!